Then we have the penultimate mission for the Legion faction in tier one called Muddy Water. Now this is kind of like a difficult mission simply due to the fact that it has to be done on the new area Ashika Island, which not a lot of people are familiar with. And it actually expects you to go to three different areas and grab three different items and then actually extract those three items. Now you can do this one item at a time. And if you are playing solo, that's kind of like what I would advise. There's simply too many people running around in Ashika at the moment trying to do this mission as well as other missions. And you're likely to run into some trouble if you try to do all three at once, which basically means you're back to square one. So do them one at a time, extract them out. You keep the progress and you essentially knock it off bit by bit. Now, taking it straight from the top on the mission, the first area that you need to go to is the Ashika Island Beach Club, and you need to get a USB drive here. Now, the Beach Club is this round area all the way in the south of the map here that kind of like sits out into the water. And as you get closer to it, what you're actually looking for is underneath the water. So not on top, but you actually have to dive down and look for an open window that you can get into this middle area. Be careful not to drown. This has happened. I've actually been down here and watched people drown. And if you quickly need some oxygen, you can go to the middle of the room where the stairs are and go up and catch a breather by this gate here. But what you're looking for are toolboxes which are in the circular area down at the bottom and one of these toolboxes is going to have the usb that you need now this spawns one per deployment so this area can get quite contested and out of the three of these this was the one that i struggled with the most having come here three times and two of those three times the usb already having been snagged by another player at this point in time you could probably if you want chase that guy down and try and take it from him or just extract and come back but once you get that usb extract and the first step is going to be done next up and step two of this mission is to find the Ashika Island Intel, which is basically hidden in the underground waterway. Now, this is the most difficult one of the three for several reasons. Number one, you are going to be going into an area that has a high amount of elite enemies as well as a roaming minigunner walking around. And these guys can be a huge problem for you if you are going solo. And secondly, you are basically going to be right underneath the keep, aka the middle of the map. And this is where people are trying to extract the weapons case from. So you're also very likely to run into enemy players here. So either which way, come ready for that. Either be super sneaky or super fast. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to get into the waterways underneath the island. Now, you can get in there basically from either side. Well, from all four sides really of the island. But I came in from the west so as you see this waterway here essentially it's a canal that goes in you have enemies on either side of the water that can shoot at you so take it slow and move through this area use the middle of the map as your guidance to working through these tunnels because you're trying to head in the general direction of being right underneath the keep because that is where you're going to find the intel now specifically what you're looking for is this little like harbory kind of area in the middle that has a submarine if you see this submarine submarine you're in the right place and just next to it will be a container that you can walk into and the intel that you're looking for is in the corner of this container grab it grab yourself an extract and that's going to be the second part of this mission done then the last step is of course trying to find the crown intel which is in the ashika power plant now first of all the ashika power plant sits to the northwest of the middle of the island right over here now this area i've deployed maybe i would say somewhere between 10 to 15 times onto ashika island at the time of recording this video and every one of those times this building has been a stronghold so i don't think it's a randomized thing i think it is all the power plant is always a stronghold and that means that you're going to need a stronghold key now first and foremost i don't know if a lot of players know this or not but you can actually extract stronghold keys now and bring them into maps with you out of your key folder this is something that you could do at some part of season one but eventually you couldn't do this anymore but yes you can actually find a stronghold key somewhere else extract it and then bring it into this mission which means that you are already good to go but let's say for example that you don't have that of course you can go the classic way and essentially just murder enemies until they randomly drop a stronghold key if you kill an hvt they usually drop stronghold keys as well so that's all good but you are also able to buy stronghold keys from certain buy 
boxes then once you have the stronghold key you go over there you pop it you go inside and the area that you're looking for is this glassed off like sort of watch room that you have at the top there you go inside there there's a counter and right in the middle underneath the counter you have this intel the crown intel that you're looking for grab that get yourself an extract get out and this mission will finally be done